Okay, students, uh, now. After that, after that, it is an American Do you know what is a three sided figure called? What is this? Triangle. Without a triangle, right? What is this? Rectangle. Okay, it is a rectangle. Is it a rectangle? No. Square, right? Okay. With a square, we have, with a square, we have another shape. What is this? What is this? Rhombus. Rhombus. Right? What is this? What is this? Rectangle. Oh. What is this? Parallelogram. Right? So, what we have in a square, all the sides are equal. equal. What we have in rhombus, all the sides are equal. What we have in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. And what we have in parallelogram, opposite sides are Equal. equal and parallel. Opposite sides are parallel in all the shapes. Right? But if I am going to keep a line here, if I draw a line here, another line is here. These are two green lines drawn. What is it called? What is it Diagonal? Diagonals. Diagonals. These are called diagonals or Zen Merkega for all the four diagrams. For all the four diagrams. Midpoint of diagonals. Diagonal ka jo midpoint hai, wo same hoga. Diagonal ka jo midpoint hai, wo same hoga means here it is A, here it is B, here it is C. Here is B. Agar main AC ka midpoint calculate karun ya BD ka midpoint calculate karun same result hai. Diagonal ka midpoint same hota hai. Chahe aap left side se draw karen, chahe aap right side se draw karen. Okay? Ye cheez hama is hand mein honi chahiye. And this property is for all the four quadrilaterals. Jo yaha par bane bane. Sahi ho gaya na? A B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. All the four quadrilaterals are here. Four sided diagrams there. That's why I call it quadrilateral. In Charo diagram, make your mistake that you see eight minutes. So, what is the difference between 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 so, if you have a quadrilateral, you can make a quadrilateral. 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 You can make a qu
लेकिन साइक्लिक होना जरूरी है बट इन डायग्राम हमने क्या किया जिग्जैक लिख दिया इट इज रॉन्ग राइट ये गलत लिखा तो हमें इसको सही करना होगा और इसको साइक्लिक लिखना होगा साइक्लिक लिखते हैं जरा कैन आई राइट इट लाइक ए बी पी डी इज इट ओके यस इट इज ओके साइक्लिक चाहे एंटी क्लॉक हो चाहे क्लॉक हो इट इज एक्सेप्टेबल लेकिन अगर जिग्जैक्ट फॉर्मेट में लिख दिया आपने तो वो गलत हो जाएगा रिजल्ट ठीक नहीं आएगा समझ में आई ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द डायग्राम टू वी हैव कोऑर्डिनेट वन थ्री बी हैज फोर माइनस टू सी हैज माइनस टू एंड Five. Find out the coordinates of B. Let's say A and B. Find out the coordinates of B. How can we calculate the coordinates of B? That's great. That's great. Now, I'm going to do it. Okay. Now, let's see. How can we calculate the coordinates of D? As we know that, as we know that, for this diagonal. For this diagonal, midpoint will remain same. same. First, I am calculating the midpoint by the help of <coughs> AC. By the help of AC. अब थोड़ा सा मैं direct लिखूँगा यहाँ पर midpoint by the help of AC. Midpoint by the help of AC. और formula क्या है? X one plus X two by two for X. Y one plus Y two by two for Y. y. X one. What is X one? One. What is x two? One minus two. Minus one divided by two. Minus one divided by two is the x coordinate of the midpoint. Any confusion, yes. sir? Any confusion? No, sir. No. And y one three plus y two. How much is it? Eight. Eight divided by two is four. This is mid. With coordinate minus half and four, so x. Sorry, what is x? X is minus, minus half x equals to x one is a. A. आवाज़ आए बच्चों सब की. X two is four, four divided by two. two. Two and two cancel out. A equals to minus one minus four. Minus five. What is y? Coordinates of midpoint four equals two. What is y one? What is y two? Minus two. Minus two. Then plus. What happened? This minus happened. Divided by two. Four two is eight. Eight plus two is ten. Midpoint K uh, B K coordinates. What happened? Minus five comma ten. Any confusion? Any confusion, and there is no need to copy this example. There is no need to copy this example. After that,
after that students uh, you guys have to do some questions kon kon se questions jana aap question number 3 question number 3 question number 6 and question number 7 and question number 9 start working okay after the bit point the next sub topic of your for age geometry is is gradient is gradient na gradient ko jara ek aur naam hai gradient ka that is called slope pyar se gradient ko ghar mein slope bolte hain aapko kya bolta hai ghar mein pyar se koi pyar hi nahi karta theek fir se na तो ग्रेडियंट को स्लोप बोला जाता है घर पर सही अब जनाब रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय स्मॉल एम अगेन वी हैव अ फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द ग्रेडियंट व्हाट इज अ ग्रेडियंट इट इज फॉर्मूला व्हाट इज अ ग्रेडियंट gradient is slope that's great and what is slope gradient excellent but what is gradient or slope good answer nahi malum mashallah sab log bol rahe hain ये स्टार स्टूडेंट्स बैठे हुए सब लोग ओ लेवल्स के सो ग्रेडियंट इज बेसिकली इट इज ग्रेडियंट इज बेसिकली और स्लोप इज द रेशियो बिटवीन वाई स्टेप एंड एक्स स्टेप जितना लाइन ने वाई में ट्रेवल किया Divided by जितना लाइन ने एक्स में ट्रेवल किया रेशो बिटवीन वाई स्टेप एंड एक्स स्टेप इज कॉल्ड ग्रेडियंट और रेशो बिटवीन राइज ओवर रन इज कॉल्ड ग्रेडियंट बिकॉज वाई स्टेप को राइज कहा जाता है ऊपर जाना एक्स स्टेप को रन कहा जाता है मूव करना हॉरिजोंटली सो अगेन वी हैव प्रूव दैट हाउ कैन वी गेट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ग्रेडियंट बट आई एम नॉट डूइंग दैट हियर राइट i'm not doing that here i'm just writing the formula i'm just writing the formula so it is basically rise over run rise will be calculated by y2 minus y1 and run will be calculated by x2 minus x1 this is the formula for finding out the gradient or slope of any line theek ho gaya jana ना अब एक चीज ध्यान में रखिएगा अब एक चीज ध्यान में रखिएगा कि वी हैव फॉर एग्जांपल
A line is here. For example, a line is here. A line parallel to x axis. A line parallel to y axis. In k gradients, nikalne ki zarurat nahi hoti hame formula ke through. In k gradients, hamare zain mein hone chahi. Agar ham gradients nikale ke ki. तो भी वही ग्रेडिएंट आएगा जो कि हमारे जहन में मौजूद है ठीक है तो याद रखिएगा इफ अ लाइन इज पैरेलल टू एक्स एक्सिस देन द ग्रेडिएंट ऑफ दिस लाइन इज ऑलवेज इक्वल्स टू 0 एंड इफ अ लाइन इज पैरेलल टू वाई एक्सिस देन द ग्रेडिएंट ऑफ दिस लाइन इज ऑलवेज इक्वल्स टू इनफाइनाइट व्हिच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय 1 अपॉन 0 एनीथिंग डिवाइडेड बाय 0 इज इक्वल्स टू इनफाइनाइट अगर क्वेश्चन में हो, what is the gradient of a line parallel to y-axis? आपने डायरेक्ट लिख देना है infinite. और अगर सॉल्व करने के लिए आ जाए तो सॉल्व करने के लिए infinite को one upon zero के हेल्प से सॉल्व किया जा सकता है, right? So one upon zero is always called infinite. Any confusion? After that, ये तो दो बातें होंगी. Next. Parallel lines. If the two lines are parallel, if the two lines are parallel, then you have to keep if this has gradient M1, <coughs> this has gradient M2, so we can say M1 is equal to M2. Parallel lines are gradient kya hota hai? equal to the same. Hota hai. और इसके बाद एक और प्रॉपर्टी है परपेंडिकुलर लाइंस पैरेलल का साइन क्या है दिस वन परपेंडिकुलर का साइन क्या है दिस वन इफ द टू लाइंस आर Perpendicular means 90 degrees ban jai agar inke darmiya. This line has gradient M1. This line has gradient M2. So yaad rakhi ga. M1, M2 ka product kiske equal hota hai? Minus 1 ke equal hota hai. Agar dono gradients ko multiply kar vaya jai. So answer kya aega? Minus 1. और हम इसको क्या कहते हैं? The gradients are negative reciprocal of each other. The gradients are negative reciprocal of each other. Right? क्या मतलब? क्या कहा ये? For example, अगर इसका gradient seven upon two है, तो इसका gradient negative reciprocal हो जाएगा. Sign change करो, उल्टा कर दो, तो वो gradient आ जाएगा दूसरी line का. ठीक हो गया। For example, अगर इसका gradient minus five over three है, तो इसका gradient क्या हो जाएगा? Three over five. Sign change करो और inverse कर दो, उल्टा कर दो, तो gradient आ जाएगा perpendicular line का। ठीक हो गया जनाब? ये copy कीजिए, फिर आगे चलते हैं। Friends, after that, uh, some questions according to the what gradient? Like, question number two is here. In question number two, aap se kya kaha gya? In question number two, aap se kya kaha gya, janab? Given that the points are A, B, C, D, prove that A, B is parallel to D, C. कैसे होगा? First, first calculate the gradient of AB. 
then calculate the gradient of DC. If the both are same, it means they are parallel. First, calculate the gradient of AC in part B, then the gradient of BD in part B. If they are negative reciprocal of each other, then they are perpendicular. Eight part that I may have solved for do start Kijega. Now I'm doing I'm doing part B. About the key, I stop working. Look at the board. First, we are calculating the distance. Oh, sorry, gradient AC. Gradient AC. But if I saw the soft curl of the Akiaplo, we can see how to write. Can you get to express the name of the Yamaha? Up the solution. Okay. Now, gradient AC is AC. A is here, C is here. Y2 minus Y1, 2 minus 3. Divided by x2 minus x1, 7 minus 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 7 minus 2 is 5. Gradient BD. B and D. So 0 minus 5 divided by 4 minus 5. It will be minus 5 upon, minus 5 upon, minus 1. Minus minus cancel out. It is equal to 5. Now, what can I say? What can I say? Gradient AC multiply by gradient BD is equal to minus 1. How it is? Minus 1 upon 5 into 5 equals to minus 1. Cancellation ke baad, minus 1 equals to minus 1. Proof. Cancel over 5 and 5. Minus 1 equals to minus 1. Prove ho gaya. They are perpendicular. They are perpendicular. Or ek chiz suniye ga. Agar mein yahan likh duu. To bhi koi masla nahi. It's not necessary to show. Yeah, dono ka, dono ek do se ke negative. Kya? Reciprocal hai. Bas. Hame saamne nazar a gaya. Ek minus 1 upon 5 hai, dousra 5 hai. They are negative reciprocal. Okay? 2. After that, after that, uh, question number 4. Question number four. In this question, kya kaagiya janab in question number four, a triangle has vertices this, this, this. Find the gradient of the straight line this, this, this. Prove that the triangle is right angle triangle. We have to prove <coughs> that a triangle is right angle triangle. Kaise proof kiya jayega janaab? For example, a triangle is here with A, B, and C. A has coordinate 3 minus 2. B has coordinate 2n minus 14. C has coordinate minus 2n minus 4. Aapne calculate karna hai gradient AB. For example, gradient A, B, Agya 7. For example, gradient A, B, Agya 7. Aapne calculate karna hai gradient A, C. For example, gradient A, C, Agya 3. Aapne calculate karna hai gradient B, C. For example, gradient Agya minus 1 upon 7. Ab aap dekhye, aap lik sakte hai. Gradient AB, yeah. Aap kya lik sakte hai, janaab? AB is perpendicular to BC because in the other ka gradient aapas pe kya ho gaya? Negative reciprocal ho gaya. So hence prove that the triangle is right angle triangle because in right angle triangle, koi si do side aapas pe 90 degrees bana. 
कोई सी दो साइड पर पेंडिकुलर हो तीनों ग्रीडियन कैलकुलेट कर लिया आपने कोई से दो ग्रीडियन नेगेटिव रेसिप्रोकल होंगे प्रूव हो जाएगा ट्राइंगल एज राइट एंगल ट्राई एंगल क्लियर Yes. What are the right gradients? What is the gradient of AB? Twelve is the gradient of AB. What is the gradient of AC? Two upon minus five. Two upon minus five. What is the gradient of AC? Two upon five. Minus two upon five. Okay, minus two upon five. And what is the gradient of BC? Five upon two. The gradient of AC. I am calculating the gradient of AC. Y two minus five one over x two minus x one. So it will be. Minus two over minus five, so the result is two upon five. But uh, this is the gradient of AC. This is the gradient of AC. Yes. 